I forgot I was recording, goddamn. Y'all like my cup? Y'all like my cup? I got it last year for Christmas. Well, not for Christmas, but like I got it last year, like during Christmas time, because it was a Christmas cup at Starbucks. Anyways, I'm probably gonna get another one this year. All right, hey guys. Um, we are back playing Sally Face again. Um, I'm kind of like in a dumpy kind of mood because my one of our dogs died yesterday. Um, so I'm kind of like in a mood, but like I was trying to get myself out of that mood. So I figured what better way to get out of that mood than to play video games, right? Video games are great. Great way to distract yourself. So <clears throat> if you guys could just send me some positive vibes, um, that would be freaking great. Um, yeah. Anyways, we can get on with the game. I want to show you guys a picture though real quick so you guys can see my my little angel. My angel baby. I'm trying to see if I have a picture by myself because I have a lot of pictures of him and the other dog together. Let's see, let's see. He is a sweet one too. I should have had this pulled up already. This was our Chai Chai. Isn't he just the sweetest? He is a sweet little guy. Definitely missing him a bunch right now. Uh, but yeah, if you guys could just send me some, some positive vibes. That would be so great. Because um, it was kind of unexpected. We weren't expecting him to... Um, we weren't expecting him to be sick or to die like how he did. So <sighs> He was a sweet little guy for real. Trying to make it focus. You can kind of see the camera in the... But anyways, yeah. Anyways, I just want to show show a few pictures of him, um, so you guys know what he looked like at least. But anyways, <clears throat> let's get back into Sally Face. Let's try to dump some of these solemn vibes. And uh, looks like we're in a not a desert necessarily, but it looks hot outside. <laughs> oh, this is his mom. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay, I'll wait over there by the trees. Alright. Let's go by the trees. I mean, sis don't look like she's in a rush to get up at all. It's a little hot out here, no? Is it just me? What trees? All these trees? Ooh, what is this? Sal just kept walking, no? Why is his face bleeding? I told y'all it was hot. That's what the sun will do to you. Man, it's, it's, he's sweating blood. Ooh, what's that? Why is he just ignoring these things? Ooh! Are you getting on? I'm not. <laughs> the heck? Oh, well. Thank you so much for coming to help with, out with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Mrs. Sanderson. <clears throat> I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of himself. 
taking care of it himself. But unfortunately, his fingers have turned into banana pills. Isn't Mr. S Mrs. Sanderson dead? And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Well, seeing as I'm not Larry, I'm a little confused. Okay, that's the bathroom. I ain't, I'm not like shaming her, but she got a lot of hair on her legs. Same sis. <laughs> no shave November, it's right around the corner. <laughs> It's no shave November, right? Or is it no nut November? Child, I don't know. Ooh, what she do to that toilet? Ooh, girl. I would be too embarrassed to ask anybody. Ooh! I would be way too embarrassed to ask anybody to come and unclog my toilet if my toilet looked anything like that. What the fuck is that? You there. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. Okay. Okay. More stairs. Dead end. Let's see what's down here first. Oh, what's that? Switch. There's more stairs. Dead end. Okay, let's switch this. Or maybe don't switch that, because that didn't do anything. Okay. What we doing, bruh? All this to fix a toilet? A toilet? But no, seriously though, if my toilet looked anything like that, nobody would be in my house trying to fix it. I'm gonna have to fix it on my own because that's embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Because I would be embarrassed. Maybe she's not embarrassed. Maybe that's just me. But ain't nobody finna see my toilet looking crazy like that. Her stomach was. Her, her tummock? What is a tummock? Her stomach was fucked. It worked. So we go back down, no? Ooh, the water's pretty. And I can't even climb back up if I wanted to. Insane. This is cool. I'm sorry. I thought you just wanted something to drink. I didn't think you were gonna absorb the water. And then die about it. Look at that toilet, dude. Like, your toilet look crazy like that. First of all, how'd your toilet get crazy like that? But you come in to ask somebody to fix that? Because I'm not. Because I would be like, they're going to ask me questions how my toilet got messed up like that, you know? Oh, that's right, because Larry saw, and she called us Larry, so. Ooh. You can't even do nothing, say nothing? Oh, wow. All for my pony, my little pony. Glitter pony, that's what it was. Ugh. Dang, Sally, what is you going through? Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Me. The Wretched Episode 2 
Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. Something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is on it. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... <sighs> but wait. Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. Okay. He has a big ass... Okay, and stairs in his room? Hmm. Is the camera watching us? The snow is snowing. <laughs> Nothing like the dream where it was hot. <laughs> Whoa. How come you never told me about this? That's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Dude. It's a tree house. Awesome. Okay, we're in the tree house. Let's go up. Let's we'll see what you're talking about. Oh lord. Hang on. My computer is doing computer things. There we go. <clears throat> this is so cool. I always wanted a tree house when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was just gone no 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 nothing and all of his things were still here his clothes tools wallet his driver's license everything he just disappeared damn i'm so sorry larry i don't know how hard it is i know how hard it is did your parents not get along no my parents loved each other they hardly they hardly even fought or anything it isn't what it sounds like my dad didn't leave us even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he would never leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you so. What do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can't trust. I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not, I'm not proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist it. I let a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. Killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Miss Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy. As if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible though. That poor bunny. Now you're a murderer, bro. Anyway, as I was coming down the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. Shall what? He just threw that in there, right? And you just slipped it in like... <laughs> okay, sure. He reached out and he touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life is, was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in GV for accidentally killing that rabbit. My body got stolen. I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happened. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a movie shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. 
And the eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes, they pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear. I've seen it in the building just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How will we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We could try to find out more about the ghost. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. That's so sad. And Larry seems like such a nice person and just, hmm. Nothing useful in there. Aw, that is so tweed, huh? That's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. Oh, I'm talking the wrong voice. <clears throat> I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Well, that was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Oh, and he's waiting for him to come back? Ouch! That is breaking my heart. That is breaking my heart. I should look around up here first. What else can we look at? How do I interact with the gear boy? There's literally nothing else to look at, bro. Oh, I didn't look in here. Nature life. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. It doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've ever watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. There's some kind of weird small box that looks like it's still shut. Take that shit. It's ours now. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belongs to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it though. <clears throat> looks like a missing. Looks like there's a missing piece. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. They're playing this sad ass music too. Like bro. <laughs> like Larry, uh, he making me want to give him a hug. Sorry, my freaking computer is it's computering. It's kind of cold out here. Let's go in the house. Hey, Larry Bear. I want a friend named Larry. So, ooh. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I've noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. No problem. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. I didn't mean to push that. Hasta la vista, Sally. Look at his painting, like, craziest. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Right. Ooh, Lisa, you look bold. What happened? Hey, Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hiya, Sal. <clears throat> I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's <coughs> so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. 
Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, <clears throat> don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful too. <clears throat> I'll just be just fine. Can I get you anything? Don't trouble yourself. Don't trouble yourself any, Sal. Larry is taking good care of me. I miss Bray. She looks whole red blee blee. All we best friends like that? My good sis got a whole picture of us. Sally look crazy as hell in here, but you know, he's doing his thing. This is where we saw the demon. It was in his house. The demon's his dad, ain't it? Hmm. Hmm. Why is your dad a demon, Larry? Hmm? Let's talk about it. Oh, what happened to the vending machine? Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so uh, is my Tommy. Chuck, what are you up to? Hi, Sally. I'm just waiting for a snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. I like to start my weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico Rico's? Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Honestly though, this video is getting kind of long. So I think I'm gonna drop it right. Why do I keep saying that? Every video that I have recorded in the past few weeks, I've been saying I'm gonna drop this video right here. Baby, what are you talking about? Anyways, I'm gonna leave this video right here. We're gonna come back. Um, because there's clearly a lot to do. There's a whole demon wandering around these halls. So, yes, please, if you want to see more of me, and you know you do, <laughs> just stay tuned and I will be back. Peace. Put your sweats on me. Yeah, yeah. I got the blow.